Namaste. Welcome to another lecture of Prayam's Biology. Friends, today let us understand about this cell cycle and its concepts. Before understanding something further on the concepts of cell cycle, I have three questions in my mind. You can ask me what question, sir. My first question is what is cell cycle? And my second question is what are the major events of cell cycle? And third question is why do cells divide? These are the three questions I want to address you first. Because if you understand this better, you will understand how actually and what all the events which are happening in this cell cycle, you will understand better. Okay, first let us understand the first question of me which is, what is cell cycle? How to define cell cycle? If you ask me how to define cell cycles in a simple way, I can say that, you can simply say that, the life cycle of a cell is called a cell cycle. If you feel that this, this is very simple, sir, to understand and bring give us bring and give us a proper intellectual definition means you can define like this: a series of complex events with concern with growth and proliferation is called as cell cycle. It's up to you which definition you want to use and which not. Okay. Hope you are clear with what is cell cycle and how to define cell cycle. Now the second question is what are the major events of cell cycle? Yes, there are major events of cell cycles. There are two major events of cell cycles. Those are one growth and second proliferation. These two major events are very much important to regulate the cell cycle. If these two events one of these does not work properly. If this work, if this does not work, there is no cell cycle, there is no meiosis, there is no mitosis, there is nothing. This two important, I can't, I can say that these are very important events of cell cycle. Growth and proliferation. What is my third question? Why do cells divide? This is very much important. Why? Because Without division, you cannot form a new cell. This is the reason cell division is very much important. I am bringing one, I am framing one sentence to understand why cells divide. Cells divide because to maintain the appropriate, appropriate surface area and to maintain the appropriate volume ratio. This is the reason cells divide. I brought you two words here, surface area and volume ratio. Let us understand this word with prospect to, to eukaryotic cell. How, why actually cell is dividing and what is surface area and what is volume ratio. Consider, this is an oh, it does not feel like a cell. Wait and redraw it. Consider this is a cell. Consider this is a typical eukaryotic cell. What does a eukaryotic, typical eukaryotic cell has? It has plasma membrane. It has nucleus. It has all the organelles like mitochondria. Gonji complex, uh, endoplasmic reticulum, uh, and many more things within it. But my prospective, my discussion with eukaryotic cell is with concern with surface area and volume ratio and why the cell is dividing. What is surface area? What is volume ratio? Let us understand this first. See, for a simplicity, I am considering this plasma membrane as a as a surface area. I am considering the whole protoplasm which is present inside the eukaryotic cell as a volume ratio. Surface area is what? Plasma membrane. This is plasma membrane. And volume ratio is what? The protoplasm which is present inside. Okay. If you ask me, sir, which is which is the uh, which uh, which template is growing faster in the cell? I mean, is the plasma membrane going first, 
plasmamembrane grows faster or the protoplasm inside grows faster i can say that protoplasm inside this cell will grow faster comparing to the plasma membrane the surface area why took it as plasma membrane the surface area can grow the speed of 2 and the volume uh, ratio which is nothing but a protoplasm will increase in the size into 3 so cube in cube it will increase and in square this volume ratio will increase so what does a eukaryotic cell need to survive does not it need a material to survive so a eukaryotic cell is taking a material to survive what it is taking consider it is taking an vitamin if it is taking a protein consider anything which material which is needed for it it is taking inside for its survival who is the who is the transporter for the transporter of the materials to the cells plasma membrane plasma membrane to plasma membrane itself all the materials go inside for us what is the entry gate which will get all the material inside of our mouth like mouth for the eukaryotic cell plasma membrane is the entry gate to get all the food inside so after getting all the food inside the itself one fine one fine day this eukaryotic cell will become bulky it will become bulky something very hefty so much bulky that it cannot rotate its neck also from here to here that much bulky it became so what should it do now if it again takes the material if it again takes the material what happens what, what happens means the plasma membrane which i call it as surface area there what it happens there what the layer will get thinner this bulky eukaryotic cell if it want to take the material again what happens there are chances of getting rupture at the plasma membrane and there are chances of getting puncture also if it get punctures every material will come out and the cell will die the cell will attain the senescence senescence means the cell will undergo arrest and it will die so what eukaryotic cell will decide is no no this is a bad idea i become very hefty now i need to get divide so it divides its portion from here now go through the definitions of what why do cells divide cells divide because to maintain the appropriate surface area and to maintain the appropriate volume ratio this is the reason why cells divide i hope you are clear with why do cells divide now after this to understand to understand the four phases of cell cycle the cells show the four processes i am deciding i am discussing that that now with you those four processes are first growth let me create some more space for myself the four processes four processes four processes of cell cycle the four processes are first is growth growth i hope you are clear with this i think i discussed this growth means increase in size increase in size of what in with volume ratio also and with surface area also if, if those two increase that is called as growth and what is the second process this is very much important duplication of facets when the cell become hefty duplication of facets when the cells become hefty after taking all the asset within it, within it i mean all the material within it what cell does is it distributes its defi it distributes its assets while doing so what it does it it duplicate the asset you may ask me that what are the assets sir which the eukaryotic cell has yes the eukaryotic has the assets those assets are called first asset is called as cytoplasmic asset and 
the second asset is nuclear asset. In cytoplasmic asset, what do we have? Means we have organelles. Organelles. And what we have in nuclear asset means we have chromosome. And we have DNA. And we have genes. What is the duplication of asset here? Means you consider there is one organel of mitochondria. What it does is it adds plus one. This is what means duplication of assets. If if it has a chromosome of two, consider it will add two more. This is what is duplication of assets. Okay. After duplicating the asset. What is the third process means? It distributes the asset. Distribute of assets. Here it distributes all the assets and to the daughter cells which which it came by proliferation. I will discuss better with this, 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 this diagram. You will understand better what actually proliferation means, how actually the assets are dividing. And after the third process, there is another process called division. This is the fourth process of eukaryotic cell cycle. These two, growth and duplication of asset, occurs in interface. And distribution of assets. And division occurs in Yum phase. These are the four processes of cell cycle. Okay, let us understand diagrammatically how actually the assets are distributing and how actually the duplications of assets is happening, how growth is happening, how division division is happening. We can see in the diagram. Okay, consider this is an eukaryotic cell. Here, the cell wants to take the material. Material, it wants to take the material from outside for its survival, for its growth. After getting, after getting the materials from outside, one fine day, this cell became bulky. You can see here the difference. The cell, the normal cell is here, and after taking all the materials, it became bulky. In this bulky, it had what it did. It decided to divide. When it decided to divide. It what it did? It duplicated the asset. See, here I have I have drawn only two chromosomes. I have drawn here four chromosomes here. What it did is it it decided to duplicate itself. Why to duplicate? To maintain the appropriate surface area. To maintain the appropriate volume ratio. So that is the reason it duplicated. And one more reason is it want to. Emerge and give birth for a new cell, which is called as daughter cell. So that is the second reason it is divided. So after after getting bulky, it, it, it duplicated lots of asset also. And what is the third process now? It want to distribute the asset. Here it is distributing the asset. See, it has divided, divided itself. And this is one daughter cell, and this is second daughter cell. And it it gave this asset for one daughter, and the, this it kept it for itself. After doing so, when it gave and when it divided equally, what it did? What is the fourth process? Division. After giving the equal share for the daughter, what it did was it made the daughter cell independent, so that by giving all the asset, and this mother told that beta. Be independent now. I gave all the asset. Expose your life. After doing so, this this what it is called the daughter cell is independent now. And this and the second which which are, which, which it divided the mother cell will continue again the same process. This is about the cell cycle. This is all about which I want to discuss about. And after this, 
one more important event is there and one more important phases we can call this as this discussion will be of my next part of video lecture in that what i will discuss is what are the phases of cell cycle i mean if this all happens in four phases what are those phases i will discuss in my next part of video lecture there i will discuss the four phases those phases are first g1 yes yeah g1 phase yes phase g2 phase and last is m phase these are the phases of cell cycle this i will discuss in my next part of my video lecture that's for the class students thank you